Now, I don't think I have to tell you that Greta Garbo was a legend. This glamorous Swedish starlet moved to Hollywood at the peak of the silent film era and totally dazzled on the silver screen. With her trademark big eyes, sculpted cheekbones, and perfectly coiffed blonde hair, she became the definition of movie star elegance and mystique. She made her mark in iconic films like Anna Christie, Grand Hotel Camille, and Ninochka, showing off her impressive range in both comedic and dramatic roles. And fun fact, she earned a whopping three Academy Award nominations for Best Actress during her career. She was undoubtedly one of the greatest talents of Hollywood's golden age, and as we'll see on this house tour, her luxurious homes reflect that iconic status. From lavish estates to ritzy penthouses, Greta Garbo knew how to live in style. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and I'm back again with another celebrity house tour. Get comfy, grab your snacks, because today we are taking a peek inside the amazing residences of the one and only Greta Garbo. From her mysterious Swedish villa to her swanky New York City penthouse, this glamorous golden age star lived in some very rule worthy dicks. Let's start this tour up in New York City. All right, friends, first is Greta Garbo's fabulous New York City apartment. Located in Manhattan's ritzy Sutton Place neighborhood, Greta purchased this gorgeous apartment back in 1954, using it as her primary residence for over 30 years up until her passing in 1990. The lavish pad is a floor through apartment situated on the fifth floor floor of the iconic Campanile building, which overlooks the East River. And let me tell you, the views of the water and passing boats from Greta's New York City home were simply to die for. In fact, Greta was apparently drawn to this particular apartment because gazing at the river below reminded her of her beloved hometown, Stockholm in Sweden. How sweet is that? This place just gave her all the nostalgic feels. Now. In terms of layout, this sprawling Manhattan residence boasted three cozy bedrooms, multiple living areas, and get this, the walls and headboard in the master suite were lined in Greta's signature glamorous pink fortune silk. Now that just screams old Hollywood luxury. And throughout the rest of the home, you'll find more lavish antique furnishings, ornate rugs, as well as hand-carved woodwork she'd installed as a nod to her Swedish roots. I mean, could this place be any more perfect for an icon like Ms. Gar? She clearly customized it to be her own personal palace. The living room was decked out in some chic modular seating and her fancy dining room displayed all of her awards and accolades. A little humble brag moment for Greta with those Oscars. While this New York City pied terre oozed old Hollywood glamour, it still felt peaceful according to Greta herself. She once said it was a breakthrough after years of hotel hopping. Clearly Greta was a class act through and through. Sadly after Greta's passing, the apartment remained in her family for years before they actually listed it on the market. Clearly Greta Garbo's New York City residence was in hot demand thanks to its sentimental Hollywood history. And while the new owners have apparently renovated at certain spaces such as the kitchen. Thankfully, they preserved its history where many of the starlet's fabulous retro details still remain throughout the home. All right, next stop, sunny California. Let's head to Beverly Hills where Greta owned one fabulous estate in the late 1930s. Nestled into the hills of Beverly Crest with winding streets and no through traffic, her former Beverly Hills hideaway was custom built for the actress. And let me tell you, this place was an absolute sanctuary for the star, who was known for cherishing her privacy. In fact, the whole design concept for this lavish estate revolved around privacy. Crazy high walls, tiny windows, it was basically an anti-paparazzi fortress. Greta just wanted to relax and sunbathe in peace away from prying eyes. And with six bedrooms and six bathrooms spread over 15,000 square feet, she definitely had enough room to lounge. You know the saying, they don't make them like they used to? Well, that rings true for this regal resident. It was constructed to give Greta the privacy she always wanted. Flash forward to the 2000s when this place got a major renovation by HGTV designer Nicole Sassman. She took the once rundown home and gave it new life. Some of Sassman's updates included doubling the square footage by adding a second floor, punching out walls for open concept spaces, and installing walls of glass for jaw-dropping views. She also added an infinity pool out back, which I'm totally jealous of. I mean, imagine sipping cocktails while staring out at the LA skyline from your very own infinity pool. But hints of Greta's original details remain thanks to the preservation of the actress's bedroom fireplace up on the new second floor. It's crazy how different the property looks now compared to its 
origins as Greta Garbo's Fortress of Solitude. But there are still a few reminders of the Hollywood icon. And while the interiors are now bright and contemporary with open concept living spaces, you'll still find nods to the home's jazz age roots in details like the sweeping curved exterior. All right guys, last but not least, we're hopping across the pond for the final stop on our tour, Greta Garbo's seaside Swedish villa. Talk about a perfect summer home. Built in 1929, the bright yellow traditional style abode sits right on the water's edge. Greta regularly spent time here when she needed an escape from her hectic public life. And let me tell you, it was the ultimate peaceful retreat. Spanning over 3,000 square feet, this charming home has tons of architectural character, with details like French balconies, bay windows, and a sprawling terrace overlooking the sea. Just gorgeous. The huge house is a seven bedroom villa equipped with a living room, kitchen, and of course, bathrooms. Down in the basement, Greta made her own special mark, installing relief carvings in the wall depicting Swedish royal history. Very thoughtful of her to incorporate her heritage here. Outside, the lush grounds span over two acres with additional cottages, a dock, and easy access to the beach. It's any nature's lover's dream. All right, everyone, we've covered a few fabulous homes from the mysterious icon that was Greta Garbo. But before we wrap up this tour, I gotta ask, which of Greta's homes was your favorite? Did you like the one in Sweden, the one in the hills, or the one in Manhattan? Let me know in the comments which residence you'd wanna call home, and make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'll see you all in another video. Bye.